So we got the Chicago style pizza. I just sit right the door. There's one more box. Yep, I'm going to go that way. Is there room? Whoever eats spinach pizza should be tried to the full extent of the wall. I like spinach. That's disgusting. It's good. It's kind of tiring. Yesterday we got Super Chats for Chicken City. So I was able to set up uh, for $2, it just box at the chickens from a speaker. But for $5 and up right now, which might change, uh, $5 and up will activate that feeder. It's an egg full of mealworms. And then, uh, and then the chickens get to eat treats. So normally their food is in the, the other feeders, but these are just like mealworm treats. Next few or next one? Next one. Because we don't want people to be spamming Super Chats hoping they're going to be in it and then not and they get angry. Nobody wants to eat this because I don't want to put it away and I don't want to waste it. So for a pop culture crisis, we're going to have Lydia. So that's going to be exciting. Okay, God, I rush. See you guys. Oh. Okay. Lydia just pulled up and she's in the building. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know she left. She sent me a message. I hear the message. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I'm all right. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do Andrew Garfield first, Chris mm -hmm. Stuckman second, uh, Steven Spielberg. Poor mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg. I have no sympathy for that man. <laughs> Third, right. um, and then Podluck. I, there's just a bunch of stuff in there. Mostly Mike Tyson and Kylie Jenner. Just a little <laughs> extra. Um, I thought about? the Kylie Jenner one was really funny. We were gonna do that yesterday, but I, today I decided I was just gonna mention it in passing yesterday, but then forgot, so I figured we could. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Um, I have turned headphones up and down for you for a couple of different people, so I'll put them on. Let me know if they're. Let's see what it sounds like. Are they too loud or too quiet? That's good. Yeah, that's good. Miracle. Are your headphones They're too good. loud or too quiet? They're you good. should change. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to make sure I don't have anything out of the way. Whenever there's a, a change in routine, I get distracted. Throws me off yep. for sure, yeah. Yep. Yep. Making sure I didn't like forget something really important, like all oh, the mics are on, right? Yeah. I, I I'm still paranoid. Like we've had the kid, the computer die, but I'm worried about the day when the mics are all muted the whole time. <laughs> and you're like, and you're like, uh, and then there's just one person who just doesn't have anything to say on the show the whole time. Or you forget to record. Yeah. Uh, the, luckily that hasn't happened. Or yeah, like uh, I don't want that to happen. I've done that like while making solo videos. But, Oof. Yikes. Yeah. All right. All right. So if we're ready, we're gonna go for it. Three, two. 
What is going on, everybody? This is episode 82 of Pop Culture Crisis. I almost screwed up the intro there. My name is Brett. I'm here with my co-host. Introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Miracle Sam. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Okay, it's like cloudy and rainy, you and look, I'm out of breath. You look like you're going on an expedition with a bunch of truckers. <laughs> I mean, Freedom Convoy was nearby. That you, could, you look like you would fit in right there. I like it. That's I'm all great. About it. Can I sit in somebody's truck bed? Yeah, I, there you go. Okay. That's sure, wave really a flag. Weird, yes. <laughs> Uh, that other voice you hear is that of our guest host today. Introduce yourself, please. I am Sarah Patchlitz. I am not currently producing Timcast IRL, which is my main gig. I'm doing this with Jay. Also, very much enjoy. I'm going to talk a lot more with you guys than I do on the other. Not the last time. The t two times ago, when I went to Nashville with Tanya, we went to the Kid Rock. It's actually really nice. Is it? Yeah. I believe it. He seems like a class act, honestly. The last. I'm going to have to watch that show he did with Tucker. I saw some clips of it. It looked pretty good. He said something about how he likes it when they try to cancel him. Thinks it's funny. I saw that. We should talk about him. If it weren't about Tucker Carlson. Yeah, I love it. We'll him. see. If we talk about him, it we'll could come out. up. It's like uh, we were talking, somebody mentioned, like, why didn't you guys cover Disney and all no, stuff? No, no, I was like, no, no. Disney. I, was like, that's, I was like, that's tied directly to policy. We're staying away from it. Yeah. I did see this tweet from Kevin Rothrock today. I don't know if you guys follow that guy. He's like this, um, this like uh, neolib guy, Jerno, oh who's covering um, Roth Rock, who's covering Rock. like Ukraine and Russia and everything. And here, this is a tweet. After seeing everything taken from the Russians in the past few weeks, Instagram, Disney, McDonald's, the free press, Apple, Facebook, sugar, I can now confidently say I have no idea what deprivation is capable of sparking a mass movement against the invasion of Ukraine. <laughs> it's like, oh no, they've been cut off from the Disney. They don't have the Marvel Cinematic oh Universe. Hi, why haven't the, hasn't their country happen? collapsed yet? They don't have McDonald's. They've been without Pornhub for three oh weeks my. Adidas at this cut. point. Okay, to be fair, Adidas. Okay, no, Adidas. Store, that's, no, that's, that that's, was, that's the that actually, was yeah, crippling. yeah, got. Yeah, but I was like, that's it. The world. But how many of those are actually like real? Like, keep in mind that like China's right there, so they can that's just, true. you know, <laughs> like yeah. China will make sure there's plenty of Adidas and Adidas Dolce & Gabbana yeah, and <laughs> Louis Vuitton <laughs> and everything else, Gucci. Tote Gucci, yeah, all throughout Moscow they're because not, they're going to take care of really it. Had the upper hand there. But no, that's seriously, like, this guy actually can't understand why the country hasn't fallen apart in three weeks because they don't have McDonald's. Crazy. And it's like That's maybe such a Western way of thinking. It's kind of like you know it's well it's obviously a Western way of thinking, but imagine but the the actual question that I think of is like what if the United States lost all those things? We would die. And then in like, like three two weeks. Days. Yeah. Like be bad. it would be it would actually be, be you streets. actually would see like riots in the I don't know what you would do, but then where would we see them? Inside the cities, obviously. No, but no, but what? if we didn't have social media, where would you? Oh yeah, you go would. to see. A lot of people that I know, yeah. skate dudes that skate in Russia that are still posting. They just have to do it from VPN. Well, yeah, no, a lot, I, I understand a lot of people. I'm I'm making like the maximalist argument. And what obviously, would they burn yeah, down if VPNs. there's no Wendy's to burn down? Exactly. The, the Wendy's is already Wendy's. closed, so what are you going to burn down? Right, straight exactly. to the churches then. Oh, straight God. to the churches. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what would happen. Well, in this country, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a great video from a dude on Instagram named "You Democrats." You uh, Democrats. You Democrats. <laughs> where after the the police station was burned down in Minneapolis, he just walks through like uh, after the George Floyd riots. Right? He's like, "Hello, is anybody here to help me? They mm -hmm. burned the Wendy's down. <laughs> I need some help. I'm losing my mind." And it's just it's just Man, everything's it's like, everything was burnt to a crisp, and he's just walking through this empty police station. He's like, oh, "The man. Wendy's is a staple of our community." Unlike this police station, apparently. Yes. <laughs> well, in all fairness, the Minneapolis Police Department was it has always been far more corrupt than your average. Uh, very well, the, the, very bad. The like that was not in that was not a, a secret. Uh, at least right. being from Minnesota, Minneapolis was a very uh, in, even just compared to St. Paul. Um, which had its own problems. Is it, aren't those the Twin Cities? Yes. Yeah. So they're like right next to each other, and just the difference in policy, you could see, um, yeah, bad. Not a fan of the. Yeah. Be like, it would be interesting for us because we'd go skating in Minneapolis, and like they wouldn't bother you because they just 
don't care. I mean, because, you know, like, you know like they've got more important thing. They've got drug dealers to go and uh, stop and frisk, and they've got more. Right. They've just got other stuff going Did on. Did they actually stop and frisk him in the uh, um, I don't know if they were supposed to, but I know that that was a very common practice. Um, at least uh, Supposedly downtown. that worked. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, broken Windows yeah, policies. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Um, in in uh, New York. But... Uh, everyone knew like you could go skate in Minneapolis because for the most part they've got better things to do um, So you were I mean you're still taking your life in your own hand if you're going and skating in North Minneapolis Because you don't know if you're gonna get shot, right, but uh, you know <laughs> Well at least that would keep the police away from you. Yes Nothing else. There is like that video of the guy who's like once a month He goes out and shoots two shots into the ground to keep the property values low where he lives <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like five minutes awesome. later, upon 720 Perfect. We'll see you then. Just come right up. Hey, who's the guest? I didn't get a chance to chat. We have Jack Posobiec and Emily Jashinsky. Oh, so there's two guests? There's two. Do you think you need me? I would say so. Your input is always oh. good. I can ask okay. Tim if you like. <laughs> yeah, just ask Tim if it'll be too crowded. If not, I can find more work to do. But sure. if you guys really want me, I'll still do it. Okay. Let me ask him. Let me message him right now. What if he's like, actually, we never want Chip back. Oh, that's probably what he's going to say. I mean. <laughs> Maybe see you later. Peace out. Bye. RPG. What's oh, going on? this one right here, isn't it? Yeah. I think I've got the same one you are. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, are you on Reddit? No. Okay. RPG up. Oh, you can fire it. Hey, we've got two guests Where tonight. Should we bring Seamus out Bye. here? Uh... No. No. Okay. okay. You, we can tell him. He's like yeah. he's like waiting to fire the RPG. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Mine's are down here, right? Uh, yeah. I had a couple in a bag over there. I don't know where they went. Okay, there. Ooh, the I first. think the Daily Wire people are happy that I said nice things about them. They're very happy that you said nice things about them. They oh, wanted yeah, I mean, to know if they could use a video. Oh, uh, a video of mine? Thanks. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Tim, did you dig into this uh, Veritas thing at all? What's your name? The one that came out today, or I guess it was the last night. No, it was today. It came out this afternoon. I watched it. Yeah, I watched it as well, but so this is surveillance that was going on above and beyond the previous right. surveillance. Right. But that also hadn't been disclosed. Right. Even while they're in it, they're, they're suing the people, well, they're being prosecuted by the FDNY. Yeah, that's not federal, right? Oh, no, it is. That's federal. federal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But my question is, wouldn't they have to, like, they have to turn that over when you're being prosecuted? Were they, were they prosecuted? I thought they were, I thought so far told there's no, there's no indictment for you. Well, there is an invest. yeah, that's true, there is an investigation. So we know they've been raided, we know they've been... Secretly tapped. Your emails have been secretly tapped. But my question is, how did they find out now? How did Project Veritas find out? Someone yeah. must have leaked the documents to them. Because their lawyers are the ones. Who... Yeah, well, their lawyers got it. Oh, maybe it was Discovery. Yeah, but that, but Discovery and what? That's. Oh, I that's what, what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah Discovery and what? Broilers or you just have hens? Broilers? Yeah, like you, you'll be eating them. Nope. Ooh. They're all safe. They're all safe. That's yeah, cool. uh, all the boys go to the boys' dormitory. <laughs> the the boys' city. You don't know their boys. What? They, you don't know their boys. You, uh, we can tell their boys. They could choose to identify as girls. Oh, oh, I see. I see. <laughs> uh, but we have. Uh, are you kidding me? We have uh, another chicken coop of only roosters. Three roosters at Freedomistan. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is, when the roosters retire, we're going to put them all in the rooster crew because because oh, sure. roosters don't fight if they're alone. It's as soon as you add a girl, they go nuts for each other. Yeah. Yeah. So you have like ten roosters. They're all chilling. They're all friends. Put one hen down. They go. Ah! Start tearing each other apart. Guys are like that too. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's what it is. Chicken society, man. So yeah, we got a bunch of roosters. They all hang out. They just. They got no issues. <laughs> so we're gonna retire the roosters all to the rooster dorm, and I'm really excited because it's gonna be funny as hell when. We unleash like 50 fully grown roosters onto the property. <laughs> yeah. Like a fox sees like the rooster head and like creeps up and then goes to pounce and then 50 roosters just are <laughs> mauling the fox. The rooster gang fights that. Yeah. And the fox is going to be confused like, how is this possible? I've been, I'm being defeated by roosters. <laughs> Shout out 
Uh, I don't know, scissors. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's a sword. There's no water in here, come on. Yeah, it looks like a sword. Mm. I don't know, maybe it's not a sword. I don't know what it is. Seems like a sword. Oh, it's a sword. I'm just thinking of what else it would be. Oh. Like a really ex heavy and expensive umbrella. <laughs> I don't remember ordering this. You wanna cut that over? Is there another sword? America's got yeah. here. Someone must have ordered it for us. Are they the same one? I mean, it looks cool. It seems sharp, but not really that sharp. I mean, it is sharp and oiled. Yeah, very heavy. I don't know where these came from, but uh, there are some swords. Mm -hmm. So we got the cheese pizza right here, spinach right here, and then this is a pepperoni. They only gave us one. What is this? 